Hola, mi amigos! It's still Anime 17, your daily dose of anime every day in May. Let's take a sun-soaked vacation to South America in the crime drama Michiko and Hachin. We hope you are enjoying your stay in sunny Diamandra. It's a beautiful country where everyone can chase their dreams or die trying. Did we mention the high death rate? Regardless, don't let the high concentration of poverty and crime get you down. It's a bit of a doggy dog world out there, and you're going to need your wits to stay alive. This is the only world that characters Michiko Melandro and Hannah Morenos have ever known. Hannah has lived with Father Pedro and his family since she was abandoned as a baby. Now, almost 10 years old, Hannah is treated as the household servant, cooking and cleaning for her foster family. Now, I've seen the orphan trope a dozen times in other stories, but I've never seen this level of cruelty and abuse. Hannah makes Cinderella look like she's living the high life. Her foster parents openly ridicule her, force her to do all the chores, and even use her as a scapegoat. Her foster siblings steal her things, heckle and pester her relentlessly, and regularly beat her. All the while collecting her child care and even plotting to murder her for the insurance money. Doesn't help that the whole family is a bunch of hypocritical Christians abusing their money and stature in the community. The opening episode of the show was nearly unwatchable for me. I honestly don't think I would have watched another episode if Michiko hadn't shown up when she did. And she does so by jumping her motorcycle through the dining room window and landing on top of the family's breakfast. Buxom and brash, Michiko is an escaped convict and past lover of Hana's late father Hiroshi. Michiko sweeps Hana away in hopes of finding clues to Hiroshi's whereabouts since she believes he may still be alive. I would say anything's an upgrade from her life with her foster family, but Michiko has some bad habits and swarms of police officers and gang members tailing her at every turn. The story at least starts to inject some character chemistry and black humor to brighten things up, but this is a pretty intense and dismal show if you think about it. Thankfully, Hana, now nicknamed Hachin, and Michiko make a pretty entertaining duo, and the boisterous action set pieces are fun action romps and not too dire. In the girls' search for Hiroshi, it seems that they'll continue to run into tough crowds and encounter more and more cases of poverty, abuse, and fear. I'm sure the show will do its best to paint everything with some level of humor and spectacle, but... They really do deal with a ton of dangerous issues and dark subjects. And in the end, I had a hard time sitting back to enjoy any of it when every character is so cruel and there's constant threat from every angle. That doesn't mean the show doesn't try to be lighthearted. The colorful locales and bold character designs help a lot in making the viewing experience as fun as possible. The expressive performances, over-the-top action, and lively soundtrack all contribute to a feeling of Saturday morning hijinks a la Lupin the Third, but... More similarly to Cowboy Bebop, Michiko Tuhachin is a dark criminal drama first with a fun coat of paint. As much as I wanted to get wrapped up in another fun-loving road trip adventure, Michiko and Hachin seems a little too intense for what it wants to be, or at least what I expected it to be. For all the glitz and carefree attitude, the show doesn't do enough fun to outweigh the serious themes. If that's the kind of drama you enjoy, then Michiko Tuhachin is one hell of a ride, but truthfully, I'll hitchhike for a different ride. Thankfully, our trip isn't over just yet. Tune in again for the next leg of Anime 17.